welcome to this new video about continuity. So here we're going to refer to the graph of a function f, and we're going to compute some limits and conclude about the continuity of f at some points. But first, let me just remind you that a function f is continuous at the point x equals a, only and only if the limit of f of x when x approaches a is equal to f of a. So if these two quantities are different, or if one of them does not exist, therefore the function is not continuous. So if you have this equality, the function f is continuous at a. If it's not the case, the function is not continuous at a. Okay? Please memorize this definition of continuity at the point. Okay? Now, let's look to our point here. At negative 3 minus, it means to the left of negative 3. Let's put the negative 3 on the x-axis. This is negative 3. If x approaches negative 3 to the left, it means the graph is going to this point, which corresponds to an output equals 1. So the limit to the left of negative 3 is 1. The limit at negative 3 plus, it means from this side, is also 1. So the limit at negative 3 is equal to 1 f of negative 3 is given by this solid point here. Since you have an empty circle here and a solid point here, it means that f of negative 3 is given by this point, which corresponds to an output equals 3. So f of negative 3 is 3. Remember the definition. We have to compare the limit at negative 3 and f of negative 3, which are 1 and 3, which are different. So we can conclude that our function is not continuous. So f is not continuous at negative 3 at x equals negative 3 and this is due to the fact that the two quantities here are different so it's not continuous at x equals negative 3 because the limit of f of x when x approaches negative 3 is not equal f of negative 3. Okay? Now let's move to the second point, which is negative 2. Okay? So here is negative 2. Okay? Now we're going to look to the limits at negative 2 minus, negative 2 plus, and negative 2. At negative 2 minus, it means to the left of negative 2, the graph is going to this point, which has a y coordinate equals 2. The limit at negative 2 plus, it means from the right side, is equal to to 4. Since the two one-sided limits are different, the limit at negative 2 does not exist. And it's enough to conclude that the function is not continuous at x equals negative 2. But let's continue first by computing f of negative 2. Here, we don't have any solid point, solid point which corresponds to x equals negative 2. We have two holes here, and there is no solid point it means that the function is not defined at this point. So f of negative 2 does not exist also. Okay? So you can conclude that f is not con continuous at x equals negative 2. And the reason is that the limit here does not exist and also the function is not defined at this point. Okay? So you can use one of these reasons to justify that it's not continuous, okay? So we're going to write that because, let's say, f of negative 2 does not exist, okay? It means the function is not defined at this point, so it, can, it can't be continuous there, okay? Now let's continue. The third point is the point x equals 2. Let's put the point here. It's 2, okay? Now, the limit to the left of 2 is obviously given by this point, which corresponds to y equals 2. The limit at negative 2, uh, at uh, 2 plus, it means to the right of 2, is given by this point, which corresponds to negative 1. Okay? So the limit at 2 does not exist, since the two one-sided limits are different. Now, what is f of 2? It's given by this solid point. It means it's 2. But it's not enough to conclude that f is continuous because the limit at 2 does not exist. 
and you can see that there is a jump here, okay? So the graph is not continuous there. We're gonna say that F is not continuous. At X equals two. And the reason is that the limit at two does not exist, okay? Because limit of f of x as x approaches two does not exist, okay? The last point to check is the point x equals four. So let's place it here. Okay, now the limit at four minus to the left of four is given by this point, which corresponds to y equals one. The limit to the right of four is also given by this point, which corresponds to x uh, to y equals one. So the limit at four is one. And as you can see here, you have a graph which is continuous. So there is no hole here, no jump. So f of four is also given by this point, which corresponds to one. Okay, and since the limit at 4 and f of 4 are equal, then we can conclude that f is continuous at this point. At x equals 4. And we can explain that the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 is equal to the limit uh, to f of 4, sorry. Okay, which is the definition of continuity of a function at a point. I hope it was clear and see you in the next videos.